Okay, so in uh, last lecture, we have uh, seen the state membership and the basic hash function, construction of basic hash function and the hash table setup. Now, how we do this uh, membership operation? So we have to work on insert. There are three functions. Insert X or we generally write through key okay. because every element is key value pair. This key is accessed in the uh, hash function and uh, the map of this key is used in the hash table. So there is three, three function insert search search for arbitrary element with key k and delete delete k okay these three are basic operation like all other data structure these data structure also support this operation so every element is associated with some key and there will be some value the hash function works on the key space and the value is uh, assigned in the table. Okay. So, uh, what will be the key space? Let's say uh, this key are t bit long. Okay. This key are t bit long. Whatever the key, it may be string, integer, uh, whatever, but it could be in, in binary representation, it may be t bit long. So the key space we generally denote with capital K, the key space okay. key space can contain two to the power n element. Key. Okay. So there are possibility of two to the power n number of arbitrary keys, and some of them are inside the set. Okay. So this set is it contains a subspace of zero one to the power okay there are q k1 k2 okay and any arbitrary element up to let's say kn these keys are not all the keys but there may be all pos other possible keys so when we are creating the function we have to take care of this fact that the our domain size is this 0 1 to the power 2 to the power this is not n this is t to the power t that is the domain size and we are mapping into a table of size m okay let's say let me put the indexes this will be m minus one this is zero one two three in this way so how do you insert process one let assume that h is the hash function so for k1 we'll compute this value h of k1 as i told the range of this function might be between this 0 to and minus 1 okay so this h k1 is going to map in some point it, it may give some index. Let's say this value is equal to 3. So we are going to put k1. Let's say I am writing value by d. k1 v1 in k. Okay. Similarly for k2, h k2. Let's say this is 21. 21 will be somewhere here. Okay, so this is 21. So we'll write k2 v2 here. 
In this way, we'll uh, insert all the KN elements, okay? And the insertion process, how much time it will take to compute this function? If this function can be computed in constant time, then insertion is constant time. Okay. Is there any problem? No. But yes, there are some problems. Suppose we are inserting H K7 and this value is also P. What to Will you keep K1 V1 here or K7 V1 V7? So K7 V7. Also qualified for this place. Which one to keep? So that situation is called collision. Okay. That situation is called collision. So, I am coming to the uh, how to handle collision. I am coming to that part later. So, insert will work in this way. And collision, we have many techniques for resolving collision. There are chaining techniques, there are open addressing techniques. And uh, before that, we have the question can we choose some function which will never have collision? So, this is basically going to give us the measure how many collisions more collision in bad function less collision in good health okay so now let's assume that we have made in all the insertion and collision we handled in some way. okay with some measure, uh, more measure now the search process how search process will work Let's say we are searching for some element and so we are searching for Kx. What we will do? We will compute, simply compute H of Kx. Okay. That will give us some value between 0 to and minus 1. Okay. Whatever the value may be that will be in some place. If we found some element there, we will say the kx is found and we will return the value. Okay? Key value pair we can return. And if the element is missing, that slot is empty corresponding to hkx. This may be some arbitrary location. For example, let us say 20. If we are getting some element in 20, here there is some element, then we will return that. And if there is no element, this is empty, then we will say this element is not present in this collection. Okay, this collection does not contain this element. So we will return element not found. So this search process will work. How much time it required? Again, constant time. Why? Because the computation of this hash function is assumed and uh, that it is in constant time. Okay. Now we have insert, we have search. How to handle delete? So delete is first we have to search for the element. Once the element is found, we can delete the element and make this space empty. Okay. If the element is not found, we will say this element does not present, so we don't need to delete. That is how delete will work. All these three operations work in constant time, assuming that there is no collision. Or collision is handled in some way. Okay. Now let's start to start more about collision. So, uh, if there is collision, what to do? To do increase the table size, 
if we are taking a very very large table size there will be less chance of collision and if the table size is small there will be more chance of collision but if we take the table size less than m there will be definitely collision not only that there are some values there is something called bulk data relevance okay i am coming to that fact and we can have more insight of the collision Birthday the panda. Okay. What is birthday panda? Birthday panda is uh, let's say we have a class of 30 students and I am asking that uh, is there any pair of students who share the same birthday? What will be the answer? The answer will be yes with more than 50% probability. Okay. If we are taking a class size of 21, then there are almost 50% probability that there is a collision, means two students have the same birthday and then that probability is 50%. Now, if we have 50 students in the class, there is almost 70-80% probability that two students have the same birthday and if we are taking more size of the class, when let's say 80 or 90 students, then there is almost 99% probability that there will be a pair of students which same share the same birthday. It's certain. Okay, so that's that is why it is called birthday paradigm. So what does it mean in with respect to this context of hashing? It means if we are taking a set of 30 elements and our table size is 365 then there is more than 50% probability of Okay. 